Okay, first of all, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Do you know where the English words for the days of the week come from? Because they're actually the same as in Korean, believe it or not. Pardon my messy writing, it is actually pretty hard to write on this board. All of them end with yo ear. So the important part is the first syllable here. First of all, if this topic interests you, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment, everything just to let me know that you like the video. So let's get started. Now, in order to talk about these words, we actually need to start with English. Okay, the words we use in English originally came from Latin, kind of. They originally came from Latin words, which came from the Romans. And the Romans probably got them from somewhere else too. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments below. Now, the Romans started using a seven-day calendar, just like we know today. Back in the year 100 or 200 AD, give or take, I don't know, and the Romans named them after the planets, specifically in the order of how fast they move through the sky, at least how fast it appeared that they moved through the sky. Now, this was not actually how fast those planets are moving, but it was just an observation of how fast it looked like they were moving through the sky. So the names they gave them in order were, first the sun, then the moon, then Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, and Saturn. Now, right away, you could probably see where Sunday came from. So, sun, Sunday, moon is moon day, Monday, and Saturday is Saturn, Saturn day, Saturday. But what about Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, and Venus? Those don't sound anything like the rest of the days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, so let's now look at the names in Korean again. First, we have Iryuir, again, Ir is sun, Wol means moon. So literally moon day, Pa, And the name of the planet Mars, in fact, it's easy to remember, you can just attach Song to the end. So Hwa Song is Mars. Su Song is the name of the planet Mercury. Mok Song is the name of the planet Jupiter. Kum Song is the name of the planet Venus. And To Song is the name of the planet Saturn. Already, we actually get a perfect match for the planets. Now, I should note that these planet names are likely from what's known as the five elements, which are Su Hwa Mok Kum To. So water, fire, tree, gold, and earth. Although the planet names might be from these, the order was reversed, so maybe someone mistranslated them, but the names of the planets themselves don't have anything to do with them being used in the days of the week. This is just to mention for anyone who's already learned about these five elements, that the five elements are not the reason why the days of the week are the way that they are. So then the real question is, how did this happen? Well, the short answer is through China. Although it's actually likely that India first brought the system over to China. Now, in fact, these days, China does not use this system anymore. China switched in the early 1900s to just using kind of like a number system for the number of the days in the week. And in fact, China had been using this system just a few hundred years after the Romans created it. So it had been used in China for a very long time. And Japan as well, they also got this system from China and they still use it today. Okay, so now we've established that the names for the planets originally by the Romans came for the sun and the moon, as well as several planets. Now, I get that, you know, Saturn, Saturday, you know, Sunday, Moon Day, okay. But then what about the others? Again, they don't sound anything like they do in English. We haven't talked about this. The planets themselves, you know, the name Mars, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, these are actually the names of Roman gods. But they weren't always those names. Uh, originally, whatever system the Romans took, whatever names that they took for the planets, were actually originally named from Greek gods. So the Romans took this system, they said, cool, but these are not our gods. We're gonna rename them to ours. I'm gonna have to read this because I can't even pronounce some of them. So Mars, originally, Mars is the Roman version of the Greek god of war who was named Ares. Mercury was the Roman version of the Greek messenger god known as Hermes. And Jupiter was the Roman version of the Greek god known as Zeus. Everyone knows Zeus. Venus, however, was the Roman version of the Greek god of love and beauty known as Aphrodite. And everyone knows her too. And Saturn was the god of wealth and agriculture. And this was replaced over the original Greek god of 
kind of like time, which was Kronos. Eh, close enough, I guess. So then, where did Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday come from? Well, for that, it's time to blame the Germans. Because in English, the words that we use now actually didn't come straight from Latin, but they came from Latin through German. Because once Germany got a hold of this system, they said, wait a second, these aren't our gods, and they changed all the names again. So, you've got Tu, or Tuia, sorry for anyone who speaks German, I don't. Tu was the god of war, so that became Tuesday. Again, Ares, Mars, Tu. Woden, who we know as Odin, if you saw the uh, Thor movies, and I guess they figured Owen kind of matched Mercury, so they decided to name that Wednesday, Woden's Day. Okay, that's a little bit of a stretch. Next is Thor, who is Thursday, so Thor's Day originally. And they felt Thor matched up with Zeus, or Jupiter. And next is Freya, or Freya, so that would have been the god of love and beauty, which we would know as Venus or Aphrodite. So we get Friday, Freya's Day. Now they didn't mess with Saturn, that's still Saturday, because no one messes with Saturn. If anyone gets that joke, let me know in the comments, because I don't get it. So, did you already know any of these? Let me know in the comments, or do you have an idea for a future Korean FAQ topic? Also, let me know. Maybe I'll make it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in another lesson. 그럼, 다음에 또 봐!